You want to do the honors? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, man. Good morning everybody, it's Mike. We're back in the woods searching for World War II relics. Today I'm at an airfield, a former German World War II airfield. And not just on the airfield, but where they dumped their trash over the years. Trash like this. Well, I don't consider this to be trash, but hey, such a cool find. Anyway, it's, uh, it's all over the place here and uh, I've been here for a few I've been here a few times and um, I thought I'd make a compilation video for you just to show you the best finds we did the last couple of months being here. Um, together with my buddy uh, Rene, Raoul, Jeff, Petra and Ricky and uh, uh, their Instagram pages are right here so uh, please go give them a follow. It's also in the link below or in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can find today and uh, have fun watching uh, this, uh, this compilation of great finds. Would you find Rene? Look at this, WW. WW, a Winterhuiswerk badge. Nice one. Look, yeah. at the, look at the glass on the back side. It is a nice one. Oh, yeah. Nicely decorated. Winterhuiswerk. These were winter relief fund badges brought door to door by uh, Hitler Jugend. And uh, the civilians could buy this and uh, support the charity of. Uh, Helping the poor through winter, but it's uh, it was uh, actually uh, introduced by Hitler somewhere in the 30s. So uh, there are a lot of these out there, a lot of different Winterhuiswerk badges, and it's always cool to find them because they're made out of glass, bakelite, wood, whatever. But uh, yeah, the glass stays intact over all those years. So yeah, these are always good to find. So uh, well done, Rene. Thank you. Jeff just uh, found a nice piece of porcelain right here. This is first for us, a green version of the uh, flying eagle. Uh, Rick just found oh, this uh, cigarette filter, which uh, made your cigarette very healthy. So, uh, yeah, one of those, we found those in the past before. So oh, these were a hot item back then. And the oh, that's nice. What did you find? Uh, Peter, I saw something shiny in my eye. <laughs> the corner of my eye. It's like a... Oh, oh nice. 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 Wait, let me just oh, try the, oh, this one first. Yeah. I think this is a part of a battery or maybe yeah. even an airplane. Oh, nice find. Now I'm going to Rick right here because he's very happy. He found something very cool. <laughs> it's your first? Yeah, my first one. Oh, the Winterhuiswerk badge. Nice. Hey, congrats, man. It's the gloves. It's the lucky gloves you have yeah, on right now. It must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this bottle just popped out of the ground. Look at that. Wow. It's not marked. That's. That's too bad, but wow, what a beautiful piece. Man, the design back in the day, they were much beautiful than all the crap we have today, right? The, uh, the Ikea crap and I just love the Art Deco period style. It's just so, uh, so powerful. Well, Petra has been doing good too, because she found this beautiful, Cup. I hope the camera picks that up. Yeah, I think it does. Well, now you have to look for the other half. It's probably there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good done. Well done. Can I just show, uh, show the dear people what it looks like from up close? Yeah, so much porcelain here. Rene just found this nice toothbrush marked Blendex. It's always good to find toothbrushes. 
Well, we moved, we moved spots a bit from behind this big tree here and we came just here and I was just um, digging away with my pitchfork. Well, this is not the first time I dug in here, but <laughs> check this out. Well, if it's that easy, and uh, finds are everywhere here, right? Let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, shoot, it's very stuck now. Oh, oh damn it. Um, you need some help? Yeah. I don't know if you can just... It's very... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't think there's anything no. on the bottom now, but that is a nice one. It's intact. Mm. Probably some cream or something, some cream jar. Hey, I'm gonna bring that. When uh, when Jeff does an ooh, <laughs> you, you have to be on your on your toes, right? If he does that, ooh. Oh, yes! <laughs> it's like a gravy bowl, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that is cool. 41? Uh, 40. Wow. Oh, man, too bad the top's missing, but hey, that, that's okay. a very cool one. <laughs> yeah. See, if, if Jess does an ood, then, wow. man, it's something good, yeah. Hold on. Rick, Rick just found a complete plate and um, well it's busted in two but that doesn't make it a lesser fine because yeah that's that's just awesome he can simply uh, glue that and uh, have his uh, his apple pie tonight right off there just uh, sit in front of the telly and have a nice uh, little uh, snack to go with it but that's good man that's very good so we're doing good here, we're finding a lot of stuff. And uh, we're trying to find the rest of uh, Jeff, his uh, oh, sauce bowl. Well, we found a bit of that. And uh, out came some more of these, so we have a lot of puzzling to do. I think that, yeah. We also found that piece, the, the straight piece with the, oh no, the, the, the one next to that. This one? Yeah, it looks like a... The lasagna bowl. The, the lasagna bowl, yeah. Um, so yeah, many different pieces. But this one is a, this one is for sure your uh, part of your yeah. uh, sauce bowl. Yeah, well... I'll leave the puzzling up to you, but... This is... Uh, this is Rick's, and I need to give that back, unfortunately, but... What a fine, man. What you got, Renee? Oh, oh, hey, Renee, butter box. Wow, it's broken. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, you shouldn't have shown that to the people. <laughs> we found it in tech butter box. No, this is honest, uh, honest TV. What we show here is what we find, but yeah, too bad the, the bottom is uh, smashed. But it's still a nice find, man. We found those in the past before you and me together. I can remember that, it was cool. Beauty. Yeah, thanks. Rene was digging over there and he found a piece of a cup with the eagle on it and I said, hey, let's just try to find the other half. And we actually forgot about that. Um, I think we were like half an hour, was that yeah, half an hour ago or something? Yeah. 20 minutes? Yeah. And I was digging right here, which is like a meter away. And I found the other half and it fits. Perfectly, as you can see. Oh yes, this is good. Well, that's a coincidence. And also some hard work. We, we found two halves there and just one half here. So maybe we found the other half as well of, of the other cup. But yeah, this is, uh, this is good. Well, it's not intact anymore, but we can glue this. We have a nice piece to, uh, to put in the display. Rick just found something in his hole while digging and he found this huge flak um, two centimeter two centimeter flak casing and I think it's a brass one right no it's not what do you think uh, Rick it is brass yeah, yeah. of copper 
Yeah. What is it? Yeah, at least it's not steel. So uh, this this is this one is good. And yeah, we've been finding so many different things here. It's just uh, so much fun digging here. Thanks to uh, to Rick and uh, Petra. Again, go give them a follow on their Instagram, please. Do me a favor and uh, go check that out. The link is below. Uh, all you need to do is press the link and it takes you there and you can see what uh, what they found in the past. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> we just found this and we believe to be a, well, maybe a glass or porcelain button because on the back is like a little shank, as you can see. Yeah, that's nice to find, right? I mean, it's all the porcelain and violence. Okay, let's uh, let's just see uh, what uh, what Rick's been finding. And, uh, let's just start with the good stuff, right? Two of these Winter Hills Verke badges. They're always nice to find. A um, little heart I showed you. He found a very beautiful coin. I know other diggers find them a lot, but. I don't care. You know, it's uh, it's nice to see this German old eagle, 1935, and little bottles, a uh, soap box, a nice, nicely decorated bottle, a toothbrush. Yeah, the flat casing is nice to find as well. And uh, yeah, it's been doing good too. Ooh, I'm trying to keep an big ooh in because we, uh, we've been digging here and we find all these little pieces of porcelain. These ones. And Jeff, right in front of me, put his shovel on one and I said, I think it's a whole, it's a, it's, it's a complete one. So we haven't picked it out yet. So, oh man, let this, let this be a, a whole one, Jeff, because we deserve that, right? Yeah, it is going to be, feel it. <sighs> okay, okay, there we go. Oh, <laughs> yes, and I see it's marked. Oh man, it's marked. You can see the FL already. Oh yeah, you want to do the honors? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, man. There we go. I, yeah, it's a good one. Ooh, 39. Wow, a complete one. Yes. Wow. This is what we're after. The, the of course, just the porcelain itself, but uh, finding a complete one. This is, this is a first for me, by the way. So, uh, oh man. Wow. Let's hope they're stacked. Yeah, let's hope there's like a stack or like a granny's entire kitchen cabinet there. Rene just found this cap, which we believe is like a protection cap. Um, it says FL at the bottom. And if I'm not mistaken, that means Flugzeug, airplane in German. Um, and everything marked FL is airplane related. Um, we should be able to look this up and uh, see what comes out. And yeah, this might be a protection cap for like a maybe a, a barrel of a gun because we often found, find K98 protection caps and they're quite similar shape. So uh, yeah, it could be, right? Let me just look it up. If I'm not able to do so and you know what this is, let me know in the comments, okay?
you can read the number there. While Renee is digging away, I'm sifting a bit just to stretch my back. Um, and this just came out of the plastic Garrett sifter. It's actually a gold sifter, but we use it to uh, sift through these dumps. And uh, this, uh, this nice spoon just uh, came out. What you got, Renee? A bottle. Oh, that's a nice one. It's busted, but it's a nice bottle. Anyway, back to the spoon. The spoon just came out. And uh, I don't think it's silver. No. But it's nicely uh, decorated, as you can see. So yeah, we've been doing good. We're struggling a bit. Um, we're trying to go some, at least Renee is digging some deeper to see if we can reach the bottom and uh, scrape off the bottom and uh, uh, use the sifter on that which so far has been good. Um, but no coins or anything came out and that surprises me because in the past we found a lot of coins in dumps like these, so uh, I'm surprised by that. From the place where I was sifting uh, to the other side where Rene is and he, oh, he found a big porcelain piece. There. Oh yeah, it's right there. And let me just Put your face right in there, and uh, let's see if it's a it's a it's a hole one because we can use a break right now, Rene. Uh, we need something good. This is stuck. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. Yeah, that is good. Don't break it, man. <laughs> Ooh, oh, well, it's it's a very big piece. Rene is doing his best for you guys. <laughs> Usually, just dig it out. <laughs> Oh wow, it is a huge piece. Come on, Renee, let it be in one piece. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, <laughs> almost. Oh, and I was pointing the camera all wrong. Oh, well, that. Oh, wow. Well, well, okay, Renee, we didn't see the back yet. Let it please be an ego, okay? Yes, it is an ego. All right. Well, that, that little piece missing is okay, right? We're gonna find that. And if not, we're gonna make some of all the pieces we got. <laughs> One should fit. Hey, but that's good. Cool. Congrats, Rene. That's a cool piece. 1940, right? 1940, yeah. yeah. We moved spots a bit. I don't know if you can tell by the color of the sand, but this sand is much more lighter than the other sand we come across and these um, because we, we think the other side is has been more burned or something um, hence the finds here too because we found a lot of small items including this like table tennis ball we think it is and this is like a made of like a plasticky plasticky um, the top of a bakelite butter box small items like small bottles and Renee just found this which is a, a name tag this was put up on um, probably the closet or, or the uh, what's it called like the bunk bed or something um, of, uh, of this soldier Mr. Thiele and uh, yeah, so, so we're doing good here in this pit. And uh, hope to find some more. Another one of these decontamination boxes. I hope it's in one piece. I didn't, I didn't take it out yet. I will do it together, okay? Let it be in one piece. Oh, it is! <laughs> yes! With the rope and all. And it's even, it's, it has some weight to it, Rene. It's also a bit bloated. Uh, just let me just get rid of this fly. It's a oh, bit it's bloated, full. yeah. It feels full. Yeah, oh, I'll do it like this, otherwise it won't focus. 
Hey, nice. This is the second time in my career I found an intact one, uh, a full one. Last year I went to Norway and I found one together with Viking Jan and Kim, which I'm going back there by the way, but I think it, it's, uh, it's gonna be in a couple of weeks, so this video is probably gonna be after that trip. But hey, that's a nice find. Hey, look at this little bottle. That's a nice one. I think this is shaped as a lighthouse. As you can see, uh, there are just little windows up there and there's a little door here. And um, it even has the top. So yeah, I'm happy with this. It's a nice find. A lighthouse bottle. I just hear the sigh coming from the corner of my ear. And that's because Rene discovered a ring. If the camera focuses, I don't know why it doesn't focus. Can I, can I take it over, Rene? Take it. Sure. And it's not in the best of state anymore. It's, it's probably a zinc ring, not, not the best of material, but in a burn pit they don't come out real good. Let's see if we can uh, discover uh, something on there together. Hope you can see something. I really can't. But nonetheless, a very good find. Yes, it's just another plate, but when you look at it closely, you can see it's probably a souvenir brought by one of these German soldiers from the Eastern Front. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a first, to find Soviet stamped porcelain. So yeah, that's a cool find. Wow. If this plate could tell stories, man. What a beauty. Ooh, yes! We found a complete one. We found a complete one. Let me just... Uh, Catch my breath for a second, and uh, I'll show you. Wait, 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 let me just turn off the camera for now. It's in one piece. I've been finding pieces. Um, maybe we, Rene can assist me in uh, giving me a piece, just to show you. I've been finding all these pieces, which are nicely marked, but I need a, needed a, a complete one, an intact one, and I found one, and I didn't, as you can see, clean it up yet to, uh, to show the, the sign, the swastika, the logo. And let's just do this together, okay? There we go. One, two. Oh, it's a beauty. Ooh. And it's, it's, oh, I thought it was like a, uh, the, the saucer of a cup the bottom but this is not this is just a nice small plate and I haven't found that before but oh I'm happy with this more of these would be good okay um, we're gonna quit in like 10 minutes but we be keep saying that to each other for like the last hour or so um, anyway I thought I uh, within all the violins you hear in the background uh, say goodbye to you and the last piece that uh, Jeff just found was uh, this piece this big piece so yeah we're gonna bring that and uh, everything that's uh, been uh, yeah. stacked here um, and I just found out that we have like a complete set okay it needs to, needs to be glued but you get the picture right so yeah look at all this white gold man and a nice tag we found too. It's probably um, equipment or maybe even a weapon tag. So yeah, look at this stuff. Man. Oh, I also found this. Not sure what it is. It seems to me like part of an old vacuum. <laughs> I don't know. It probably is. I found just probably found something stupid. Not very manly, but hey, it's still nice to find, right? So yeah, a lot of porcelain in the sauce bowl Jeff found. 
and bottles. Yeah, we did so good here. We really did. Um, there in the background, I just want to thank Rick and Peta for uh, inviting us to this spot right here. I um, want to thank my buddies, Rene, Jeff, Raul. Uh, they all have Instagram pages. Uh, I'll put them up, you know, on the screen right here. And uh, down below is a link you can just uh, click on and uh, it takes you to their uh, Instagram accounts. Uh, do me a favor and uh, go give them a follow. These guys uh, really help out the, the channel. And um, um, without them, I'm just nothing, right? Because uh, without them, I wouldn't be able to metal detect here or dig here for World War II relics. Of course, I want to thank my patrons um, who helped me support uh, the channel a little bit extra. Thank you, guys. Your names are uh, right here and there, too. Um, also need to thank you as a viewer and uh, without you I don't have a channel at all so uh, thank you so much guys for, uh, for watching and uh, supporting the channel that way. Also uh, look at this shirt that's from uh, JD's channel um, the history underground it's a YouTube channel it's the link is below as well and uh, I love JD's uh, videos and his view uh, and explanation on historical sites so uh, yeah go check that out too anyway that was it for me um, take care guys stay safe stay well and uh, be happy and I uh, hope to see you next time bye guys